If you haven't been to Las Vegas in, say, the last 10 years, you may not know that what was once the Aladdin is now Planet Hollywood, and what once was the Desert Passage shopping area is now called the Miracle Mile Shops. I'm going to visit Miracle Mile because it's time to see just how much shopping one can do in Las Vegas. And this is before folks like New York, New York, Tropicana, Bally's, the Flamingo, they're all building more stores for people to shop in, I guess, when they come to Las Vegas. It's no more dropping in to gamble at these various establishments. They want you to take home lots of shopping bags. So, we're going to go into the Miracle Mile shops. It should be a large experience because there are 170 stores there, plus lots of restaurants. Well, right when you enter the mall, you run into a kiosk, and a lady is showing a lightweight steamer, and she's showing how the wrinkles come right out. It does the other side at the same time. And it's a very lightweight product, I must say. I picked it up, and it's not made of metal. It must be some high-grade plastic. Anyway, here it is, right at Miracle Mile. How much is it? They go for $69.99 and they have a lifetime warranty. $69.99 and a lifetime warranty. We're at the Rock Bar and Grill and um, it says on the sign, please do not touch our shiny disco bowl. Earl of Sandwiches here and there are folks enjoying the sandwiches. If you have a sweet tooth, Sugar Factory is here with candy, chocolate, and gelato. There aren't many folks here right now, but the security guard at the front entrance told me that it would be real crowded on Friday and Saturday. This is a Thursday when this film is being taken. One of my personal favorite stores, Brighton Collectibles. Lots of neat purses and jewelry and that kind of thing here. Not cheap, but very nice. Another kiosk with gizmo bees. I guess these are covers for your cell phone. If you've ever been told you're funny looking, you may want to stop here where caricatures can be had for, it looks like, $15 and $25. The ABC stores feature lots of flowers for hair decoration, ear decoration. Flowers are in. Here's some more over here. I happen to know a few people who would love a big Jack Daniels bottle like this one. Tired feet? You can get a massage. A quick fix for $10 up to reflexology hands and feet, $40. And the chairs are open. Brookstone also has a store here. They always have very interesting products, a lot of electronics of the future, it seems to me. If you feel you're very important, you may go into Vegas royalty, and it looks like there are some very short dresses and across the way if you're into athletics we have champs here's a sign that's very intriguing 50 percent off entire store i wonder if you could buy the whole store anyway here are the uh, variety of products purses glasses jewelry accessories of all kinds. Lids locker room, more sportswear. And if I look over here at the red shirt, I see something familiar. I'm from Chicago and we love our bowls. Need a 2014 calendar? Go 
calendar and games are here. I don't know whether, I assume it's a permanent store, but sometimes the calendar stores are temporary. We're at the guest store, and these two items, I assume, are for the cook in the kitchen who wants to look as delicious as what she's cooking. This is the BB store, B-E-B-E, -B -E, and it looks like we're talking New Year's Eve here. When you come to Las Vegas and go to the mall and find a sports memorabilia store, you might also find a sports figure. They're meeting customers and signing autographs for a fee. Looks like Joe Montana will be here tomorrow. We're at another kiosk and it's called Big Balls because of the big necklace here. But also, there are great souvenirs of Las Vegas. You can see here, whoops, the Las Vegas sign. <coughs> we even have Elvis in a necklace and just about everything else you can think. Hello Kitty and uh, princesses, etc. So, if you're in the mood for a souvenir, Big Balls has it. The dry skin people are here and Virginie, I think, it's a clothing store and a fellow inside in a purple shirt would be glad to help you. Here's Sunglass Hut and Cache, and we're hearing in the background Santa Baby. Jewelry in a kiosk, and then we have Vegas the store here. Looks like a lot of luggage and t shirts and sweatshirts, etc. But it's right across from David Z of NYC. So, Vegas, New York. Take your pick. Another kiosk closed for the dog. Sophia Fiore Diamonds have uh, some photos in the window of, I guess that's Sophia. No, that can't be Sophia. Here's Serena Williams. And uh, John Schneider. Lots of famous customers. I think this is Planet Hollywood's This and That shop, and it looks like it's kind of um, the place to go if you need cigarettes or a candy bar or some kind of snacks or a t-shirt and quick souvenirs. Big news in town is that Britney Spears is coming to Planet Hollywood. Get your tickets at the Mezzanine box office. We're in the lobby area, which enters right into the casino, and we have the Halo Bar. And it is one huge installation right in the middle of the hallway. And it has quite a unique chandelier. Steve Madden has several stores in Las Vegas, and this is one of them. Chinese Laundry is here, and it looks like a shoe store. 40% off, and there are several gals very interested in that deal. This is Fredericks of Hollywood, and their deal is buy two bras, get one free. Stash is for the well-dressed man, I assume. Pardon me, Stash also has clothing for the well-dressed woman. A popular stop, even on a Thursday when there are not too many folks around, the Garrett Popcorn Shop, a Chicago tradition. There are 170 plus stores in the Miracle Mile, and many of them can be seen here in this kind of lobby area. Electronics, Jamba Juice, looks like another clothing store, the Art of Shaving, and the Coffee Bean, and Tea. Don't we love the name of this store, Scamp and Scoundrel? 
And it looks like they have everything from quite an unusual dress to jewelry, more jewelry, lots of accessories here. What do you know, Mrs. Fields finally has some competition. The Nestle Toll House Bakery Coffee and Ice Cream. We're actually at the Tommy Bahama store and I'm stopping to take a picture of this unique holiday tree. But the store across the way, M-A-R-C-I-A-N-O, reflects in this door window here. But I like this tree, a straw tree with lights. I may have missed the launch, but I didn't know what these were. They are actually containers for bras that are really cute, and they can hold up to seven bras, and in the box are some smaller items. One is a ball that will hold one bra, and the other is another kind of ball that you put in with your laundry and help to fluff everything up. Anyway, they're really cute. I never knew there was a problem with uh, traveling with bras, but maybe there is, and these are really cute. Napoleon, like many of the other stores here, is having a sale. To be more specific, Napoleon's sale is 70% off the entire store. You can buy purses lots of places in Miracle Mile shops and including this kiosk. Don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, so I'm going to spell it H-E-R-V-E-L-E-G-E-R. -E -E and this looks like expensive stuff, mighty small dresses. Here's how a door or a dore decorates a tree with little bottles of goodies. Well, I don't know what it is, but it is hanging from the ceiling in one of the lobby areas, and it changes lights. I assume it's a modern sculpture. I was told that the decor here is Los Angeles-based, meaning quite modern. So maybe this is LA's idea of a light fixture. If you missed a Free Vegas magazine, they are here in abundance. We're at another kiosk, and if you need to know what time it is, here are lots of answers. In the contest to see who has the biggest discounts, Landau is my winner so far, 80% off. Well, American Apparel looks like it is fully stocked for the holidays. This is one crowded store. If there were people in there, you might not be able to get down the aisles. The Gap has... <laughs> I just had a gentleman waving at me, but I wasn't filming him. Anyway, The Gap has lots of stores here. Gap for kids, Gap for adults, Gap for anybody that wants to buy anything. I'm told H&M is a very popular store. It is a big one here. There are folks shopping. And here it is. Sale up to 60% off. The walking company is one of my favorite stores. I do a lot of walking. I need comfortable shoes. And that's what they sell. So the walking company is in a number of locations, one of which is the Miracle Mile Shops. This is called Poker Face. This is a kiosk for personalized poker chips. And I guess, uh, I don't know whether these are decorating or whether you can actually buy big ones. And look, you can even get a three-leaf clover and put chips in your collection. Or you can buy huge numbers of chips and cards as well. Well, who doesn't like pink? And here's the store. And I think in the back it says Love Pink. And it looks like these are comfortable and some sparkly clothes. Well, she's dressed in pink. I don't know whether <laughs> mom's on the phone 
and we're looking at everything. Don't go away, don't go away. I learned to walk, I'm gonna do it. Thank you very much. Another ABC stores, and it's a big one. Look in the back of that store. White House, black market, and everything in the windows are gold. So I guess they need to add a third name here. It's quite a gold couple of windows. And here's the gentleman cleaning up for the next crowd. Auntie Anne's is here if you're hungry and you can get pretzels and it looks like you can get some kind of yogurt or ice cream or something. Anyway, there are folks here buying. This place is called Cheeseburger Brand or Cheeseburger Las Vegas and it looks like there are a number of folks who really like cheeseburgers. Another store name I love, it's called Hattitude. And what do we have here? Hats. Lots of hats. This part of Miracle Mile Shops includes a fountain, one huge showgirl, and the V Theater, and the V Theater features a number of individual shows. Mark Savard, The Mentalist, Country Superstars, Hitsville, Evil Dead, Papa Bitch, and a variety show. And it looks like coming is zombie burlesque. What in the heck that is, I don't know. But I do love the big girl. named Blondie, I think, but this is Blondie's bar, and there are lots of TV screens, beer pong, etc. If you want to become the next magic star in Las Vegas, you may start right here at Houdini's Magic Shop. It's called Magnet Max, but, oh, there they are. The magnets are on the back wall and the t-shirts are in front. Here we are at Club Tattoo and it looks like the offerings are piercing, jewelry, fashion, and tattoos. And we are in action. I hope the uh, looks like a lady who is on the table there has not had too many margaritas because they're for sale down the road here and she really wants her tattoo souvenir of Las Vegas. There's a store called Ketchup Premium Burger Bar. I'm not sure ketchup and premium are words that I would put together, but I guess so, because there are folks inside. The Wyland Galleries are here celebrating lots of things, the waves and fish and animals and you can come in and shop. The balloons are here to say welcome to Wyland Galleries. I suppose you can get your hair done here. It's called Pin Up Beauty Bar. Marshall Russo is a name we know. It used to be one of the only stores in many casinos. Now it is one of many. Cush Fine Art is here, and they have lots of paintings on display, including a video of their offerings, and they are right across the way from, this is Vegas the Show, a sign, and this is the Saks Theater featuring Vegas the Show, the Beatles Show, and it looks like Nathan Burton Magic. I have seen Vegas the Show. It is a musical extravaganza. Lots of talented people. You may enjoy that show. My goodness, there's even a store here called The Fight Shop. MMA is big in Las Vegas, as is boxing, and it looks like a couple of cutouts are here to greet us, and lots of stuff inside. Foot Locker. More things for your skin. 
cotton candy. Don't know whether you can see that sign. And lots of other goods. And folks in line for the Saks Theater box office. Mini Mango, Chico's, and across here we have Call It Spring. Kind of an interesting name. Not my favorite, but interesting. Well, Crazy Shirts probably describes what's going on here, although this doesn't look too crazy. And here we have Betty Page. I hope you know about Betty Page. The saying here is, a body is a terrible thing to waste. And across we have Panda Express, Ben & Jerry's, Fossil, and the Micah Beauty Bar right in the middle of everything. If you have the stamina to see all these stores in Miracle Mile shops, more power to you. In this part of the Miracle Mile shops, there is a rainstorm, and it looks like Monday through Thursday, the top of each hour, Friday through Sunday, each half hour. All coins donated to local charities. And I have been here when the rainstorm comes. It really is a rainstorm. It's kind of interesting. But in itself is not reason to come to Miracle Mile. Shops, all the stores are the reason to come. Need a little something to cover the open place by your neck? Here they are. Here is an interesting view. We're still in Miracle Mile shops. It looks kind of like a seaside village. And a guy taking a picture. Here's a cute Santa chef welcoming visitors to Oyster Bay. Let's look at the colors. Come. Now, what are these called? What are these? Is this called skirts or what? It's a magic skirt now. Magic. Yeah, you have 100 ways to wear it. 100 ways yeah. to wear it. Okay, it looks like you could wear it up top. That's right. Let's look at the fabrics. Okay, we have silk, satin, polyester. Every skirt is a bit different. I want to show you. Okay. And what are the prices, the price ranges? All the skirts are between $59 up to $99. Depends on the material. Okay. Silk, satin, polyester. You want to go so pretty, right? Okay. All right. Very Should nice. Which one would you like? Show me, show me what color that you like. I'll show you how to wear it. Okay? I'll come, I'll come back later. Thanks. <laughs> this is called basin, and it looks like there are nine million different kinds of soaps and bubble baths, etc. A great place to shop. More food here called Lobster Me and Fat Tuesday and places to sit and stores to visit. When a cowboy is tired shopping, he sits down and checks his email. And that reminds me, perhaps I need to do the same thing. The visit to the Miracle Mile shops was interesting, long. This is one huge mall. We invite folks who come to Las Vegas to come down to the Miracle Mile shops. I might come on a weekday because there are fewer folks around, but if you want a lot of Vegas excitement, come on the weekends.